neighbors heard a gunshot a little before nine. Ran to the window, saw taillights in the distance, but too far to get a maker model. No chance to play number. What happened at Wes's house? There was a knock. Wes answered it. And his man pushed his way in. He tied Wes up. Then he threw me in the trunk. And that's when the gun went off. None of Wes's poker buddies have anything other than a few misdemeanors, but this guy, Bill Rickers, maitre d' at the Florentine, came up on suspected domestic abuse last week. <laughs> Outie. What? What do you want? What do you know about Wes Sutherland? What? See that? Uh-huh. Who tied you up? Same guys who killed Wes. They kicked down a door. They wore masks the whole nine. They beat me and my wife, cleaned us out. Billy Rickers didn't lay a hand on Wes. How can you be sure about that? It's after those guys left, Billy got loose and called me. Looks like Sheriff Clyde was on two payrolls. See, I believe in the spirit of cooperation. No reason why you and I can't work together. Just keep your business outside my house. Sounds like a deal. As long as you keep yours out of mine. A week ago, an employee stole money from this casino. If any of you were involved in this theft, or even suspected what he was doing, my advice to you is simple. Leave now, and never look back. Look who we can replace with that manager that just walked out. That's not going to be easy. Chicago will send us a new manager, someone we can trust. Rickers and Sutcliffe bought their station from the same security company. I was thinking maybe an installer was helping out this crew. Murder? What the hell are you talking about? I don't know from any murder. Yeah, you can see how we're having trouble believing you, Mr. Scarpone, considering that your clients have the habit of showing up robbed tied up, and in one case, not breathing. They didn't say nothing about killing anybody. Who's they? These guys from Missouri. I, I sold them my client list a few weeks back. The fellas from the Show Me State show me a case full of greenbacks and a Colt 45. I don't ask questions. I just gave them the list and they drove off. In what? A white Oldsmobile. Patrol spotted a late model white Oldsmobile. Missouri plates. Sutcliffe's hands? Yes. Why? And that punk we got in the tank didn't kill Sutcliffe. Why do you say that? That's a bowling hitch. And a damn good one at that. Family they robbed weren't tied with no bowling hitch. But whoever did wanted to make it look like the robberies to throw us off. But nobody knows about the crimes. We've blocked out the press. Oh, there's one person who does know. You know this guy. Yes. Oh, we dated a spell about a year back. I killed this son of a bitch. My client knows enough financial improprieties to take down the Chicago mob. And the manager at the Savoy, Vincent Savino. Keep him out of the gas chamber, and he'll tell you everything. If Perrin knows about any irregularities with how you report income, the Gaming Commission could pull your license. The feds are offering Perrin a deal. The feds? Homicide's a state case. They're claiming jurisdiction. Since Samantha Mead's body was found in the NTS, it's federal land. Let me take a crack at him. Take care of it once and for all. Dakota! Better start telling the truth about that damn accident. Sheriff, what's all this? Your boy here got lost. Wound up in my jail. But, in the spirit of cooperation, we're gonna drop the charges. We gotta find out how much time we got before the feds move Perrin. It won't be long. Just find out! Employee Robert Perrin is being transferred.
transferred today from Clark County Jail to a federal holding facility in Los Angeles, where he will be held as he awaits trial in the murder of the governor's niece, Samantha Mead. It is believed Mr. Perrin's lawyers may have cut a deal with the feds that will allow him to avoid a Nevada death sentence in exchange for information about his organized crime ties in Las Vegas. Yes. Seems we've had ourselves a visitor.